Hey, 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 how's everybody doing? I hope and pray all is well with you. Let me know in the comments. I'm Tanya Curry from the Human Rights Movement um, here on YouTube. Today is day four of what is spiritual warfare. The devotion reads as follows, the final piece of armor. The six pieces of armor we've talked about have a specific job to do, and they do it well when applied. You might think that's enough to go into a battle, but there is one final component, component of our armor that's necessary, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer and requests. Ephesians 6.18 NIV reads, And pray we've outfitted ourselves with the appropriate gear necessary for the spiritual battles, but the gear won't get us very far if we're not continually praying for God's strength to carry us in during and through the battle. All of our efforts are in vain if we do them in our own strength. When we pray throughout the battle, we're deepening our relationship with God and our need for God. It's what we do to grasp the power that God stands ready to give. An attitude of surrender must accompany our prayers. James 4, 7 beautifully tells us what we do. What we must do first, submit to God. Submitting to God means fully abandoning our lives to him. With our spiritual armor fully in place and prayer in our hearts, we're yielding to the one who has the ultimate authority, our creator. Why would we have a problem with that if he created us? Okay, let me stay on point. We're giving, well that is on point, but let me just stay with the plan. We're giving the strength to resist the devil when we surrender our entire lives to God. And then guess what happens? The devil flees. Yet what we often try to do instead is resist the devil or rebuke him. First, when we, we have yet to really submit to God. Resisting the devil is hard when we haven't submitted our will, our way, and our wants and yielded to what God calls us to. It shouldn't surprise us when we experience spiritual attacks when we don't submit to God. Submitting to God is not only the first step, but our submission to God is actually us resisting Satan at the same time. So pray for yourselves, your friends, and the church to unite and stand strong in the battle. Praying gives strength to the weary and hope to the downcast. Praying reminds us that our human power is insufficient and that moving forward is in our battles is actually done in a surrendered stance. Prayer is a marvelous remedy for Satan's sly task tactics. The days ahead for you will be filled with hope joy and peace as a Christ follower but the debt that doesn't mean the spiritual battles have stopped they haven't there's more peace and hope when we're consistently praying to our great God pair that with standing on God's truth that we've learned is most appropriately applied in situations that we understand the least Ephesians 6 18 reads as follows Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. First Thessalonians 5 16 through 18 reads Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. James 4, 7 
And eight, read, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hand, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So you can always read these scriptures again on your own and also read the different versions, the message version, the amplified version, the NIV version. I usually read from the King James version unless the Bible acts like it did um, a couple times. It, it printed the NIV version in the app. So I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your day and till next time.